Good morning. How are you today? It is day six of our Lent study. I love this picture. Um, anybody that lives out in the country, um, you would understand this picture. Um, for those of you that don't, I'm going to share a little story with you. So um, I, you may not know this, but when you beep the horn of a car or a truck, cows come because for them it's a signal of, hey, the farmer's here and I'm going to bring you some food. Um, and so this makes me laugh because it's like, hey, hey, what are you doing? What do you have for us? And, and sometimes when you think about it in the Lent season, that's what people are doing. They're like, hey, God, what do you have for us? And, and it's funny because, you know, what God has for us is eternal life. And, and he's given it to us free. Uh, the readings today come from Mark chapter 2, verses 13 through 17. In Matthew uh, chapter 4 verse 1 through 11 and in Mark I wanted to share with you my favorite verse um, and, and it's uh, the chapter 2 but it's the verse 17 it's the last verse in this one and it says uh, when Jesus heard this he told them those who are well don't need a doctor but the sick do need one I didn't come to call the righteous but the sinners I think that that's the biggest thing that stops people from coming forward like these cows coming forward is they're like, oh, I'm not good enough. I'm not clean enough. I'm not ready enough. And um, that's it's completely the opposite of that. Uh, the Lord came for all of us or all sinners. Um, my pastor, Craig Rochelle, I go to lifechurch.tv online and uh, last week he used this great example he said okay so how many of you have lied before and he asked to raise her hand and he said those that haven't raised their hand well they just did right then then he goes through this whole process and he says uh, how many of you have stolen before how many of you have looked lustfully at somebody else how many of you have uh, whatever and he says, so basically, you're all liars and cheaters and thievers. And, and, it, and it's true. We all are sinners. Um, none of us are perfect. And that is why so much that we need the Lord. And, and the invitation that comes from the Lord is not one that is tied to strings. It isn't. It's just come forward. Come as you are. Come who you are. The change is going to happen after you decide to make that acceptance. And that change could be a struggle for some people maybe that's the problem is that they don't want to change and they don't want to know that there's a different way that they could live or a different truth that they could believe. Um, this is Psalm 145 verse 18. The Lord is near to all who call on him in truth. And that's the key in truth. Um, I hope you all have a great day. We are on a uh, bad weather day from school. Um, where I'm from, bad weather means that there's ice on the road, not necessarily the inches and inches of snow like the people um, in the Northeast are getting. But uh, when we get ice on the ground, there's nothing you can do about it. So we just uh, happen to have the day off. So I'm very excited about it, um, maybe to get some things done at the house that, that I need to do and to uh, spend some quiet time, not caught up in the hustle and bustle of uh, the everyday go to work kind of uh, day. Anyway, so have a super day and we will talk to you soon. Bye.